LS9 is the next block. This is not a modified block, so we're going to work from the book, and it's extremely straightforward. You've got two background pieces and a bunch of appliques. So I have this here. These are my background pieces. And then this is going to get basted and attached to the bottom. This is going to get placed in the center there. These two are going to be placed here, and there's a line here, so they're going to be placed on the line. I'll find the center point and then equidistant between the center point. This will be placed on the center point, and I'm going to find a line from the center point here to the tip and draw a faint pencil line. On that pencil line, I'm going to line up the football and the diamond. So the first thing to do here would be to baste my background pieces so I have a canvas to work from. I've basted my background pieces and the tendency would be to st stitch them together. I'm not going to stitch them together right now. And that's because it'll be easier for me to handle these in applique. So these two are going to go onto this piece and these are going to go onto this piece. First thing I'm going to do is baste this down. I'm going to baste this with glue and then I'm going to do a gathering stitch here to get this nice and tight on the curve. And then I'll be able to have that prepped to applique onto this piece. So I made an incision here just almost, almost to the paper and then I gathered the fabric and then folded it down and then basted it to the paper. Then I'm going to take this piece and we're going to line this up exactly with the edge of this. This is this tag's going to get tucked under so you're going to ignore that and this whole bottom piece is going to get lined up and I'm going to staple it two or three times so that I can leave it where it needs to be accurately and then I will be able to applique it down on all sides. I've got this all applique down. I haven't taken my staples or my basting out yet. But just a note here, if you see this stitch, it's a doubled stitch and then I skipped over to here. This is because I notched this fabric, you want to make sure that you don't undermine it and try to get, because you'll just get it fraying right here. So I didn't stitch right between these two stitches because of the fact that my, fabrics were, my fabric was snipped under there. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually not this, but these. And that's because they go against the edge of this here. So I'm going to find the center point and then visually judge about how far or I can measure and just put these. But I'm going to put one on and then I'm going to measure from the center point to the other side in the same distance that this is. So if I'm going to base these. Again, I'm going to glue base the straight side and gathering stitch the curve. And then I can be able to place these on this edge. That way it's going to give me better visual placement for the football. So I'm going to baste these right now so I can get them placed. So I've placed these and I've, I've appliqued down this. It's not got the basting out yet, but I did take the basting and the staples out of the bottom part. And this one's placed, so I'm going to go ahead and applique this down. So this is all appliqued down, and the basting and staples have been taken out. The next part is to baste this and place it. So I will get that done, and I will... I'm gonna, the idea is to make it evenly spaced from the side and then evenly spaced from the bottom so that it doesn't look like it's tipping. So I will work on that. Got my football basted and I've got it placed for applique. And what I did is I measured each point to the edge to make sure that it was equal distant here and here. And then I measured each point to the bottom to make sure that it was equidistant. It's a little off, but I tried to get two staples in it to hold it to place as best as I can. And now I will applique it down. So I've got this applique down now and all the basings removed. So this section is complete. Next is going to be to take the tip and apply these two. So I'm going to start with the football 
and I'm going to mark my center point and draw a faint pencil line from the center point to the tip, baste this, and then place it. So I've got my football placed on my tip, and I've got my pencil line here for the other one as well. So I will applique this down, and then I can get to the diamond. So I got this applique down. I got to remove the basting yet. I've got this basted to be placed. I've got my little pencil line here. But what I wanted to point out is that this is the top. When I basted it, I intentionally took my glue stick into the tab because once it's dried, I literally just did this, not sticking to my thing. Um, once it's dried, it's going to be, it's going to give you some rigidity so that you can tuck it underneath when you applique it a lot easier. What I do is I will fold this in half. I'll fold this in to here and then I'll tuck it because it gives it a nice rigidity. So that's how I'm going to do this. But right now I'm going to place it with my a stapler and then put, get it attached. So I got the diamond applique on and I took all the basting out of the football. Now I'm going to take this tip and attach it to this piece. So I've stitched my two halves together and now my LS9 triangle has been completed.